In this video, we'll walk through how to manage and add procedure codes. Procedure codes are used to identify the services a provider renders to a patient. The procedure code screen allows you to add CPT and HICPIC codes to your customer account. Any users with the code's permission will be able to add and configure procedure codes. Let's begin. Click Customer Setup, Codes, and then select Procedure. From this screen, there are two options for adding procedure codes. You can manually add a CPT or HICPIX code, or use the HICPIX master list, which is maintained by the AMA. Adding HICPIC codes from the master list is the quickest and recommended method. Click Add from the HICPICS list, then search for or select the code or range of codes you would like to add. The codes and descriptions will automatically be added to your customer account. If you choose to add codes manually, you'll want to verify the code is valid and entered correctly prior to sending a claim to the payer. Click New CPT slash HICPIX, then add the code and description. The Claim Default section is where you can determine how this code should be processed on a claim. For example, you can select the default price, charge status, and place or type of service. Code modifiers can be added on a global or situational basis. Global modifiers will be added any time this code is added to a claim. Modifiers help further describe a procedure code without changing its definition. Situational modifiers will only be added if certain criteria are met, such as dates of service, specific payers, or providers. If this is a drug code, you can include any information in the Drug Information section. A global period can be applied to specific procedure codes, typically surgery codes. These procedure codes have a follow-up period during which charges for normal post-operative care are bundled into the global surgery fee. Use the drop-down menu to select the global period for this code. Is this code only effective within a certain time frame? If so, you can enter the effective and termination dates. Would you like to include this code on your Superbills? Check the Print this code on Superbills box and enter the category and description. Lastly, the Statement Options section is used to add a description that should be included on a patient statement. Within the side panels, you will have the option to add notes, alerts, fee schedules, and contracts relevant to this code. The Notes section is a convenient place to document any important information regarding this code for your team. To further ensure your team is aware of any pertinent information, you can set up an alert. Alerts will create a pop-up message that appears whenever this code is used within the application. To add or view alerts, click the Alert side table then select Add Alert. Enter the message, along with where the alert will appear and the effective date range. The Fee Schedule side panel shows you all of the fee schedules this code relates to, including the price. The Contract side panel shows the price associated with this code in relation to any contracts you have with payers. You have the option to exclude this code from a contract by checking the Exclude box. You now know the main methods of adding and managing procedure codes. Using the right code is key to having a clean and paid claim. For step-by-step -step directions, FAQs, and other how-to videos on the code section, visit our Knowledge Center at help.collaboratemd.com. Thanks for watching.